Label. Display sound and video files. It's easy in Moodle to display sound files like MP3s, video files like MP4s or externally hosted files such as on YouTube. With the multimedia filter enabled, these files display in their own player, as we can see in this history course where the teacher has uploaded an MP3 file of the course objectives and if we scroll down, we see she's embedded a YouTube video directly on the course page. Let's go into our own course to see how to do this. You can display sound and video files anywhere there is the text editor. So, for example, we could do it in a section summary or in a page resource. But we're actually going to use what Moodle calls a label. So we turn the editing on either by clicking the button top right or in the administration block clicking turn editing on and then in the section we want our media file, we click Add an activity or resource and then scroll down to Label. Clicking Label once will display information on the right hand pane and clicking it twice will take us straight into our label to start editing it. Let's add an MP3 sound file of the course objectives. So when we've added our text, we click the media icon and then browse repositories to find or upload the mp3 sound file. When we click insert media, note that the file doesn't yet display in its player, we'll only see that once we click save and return to course. And here it is. Now let's see two ways of adding YouTube videos. So again we turn the editing on and click add an activity or resource and add another label and this time when we click the media icon and browse repositories note that the administrator has enabled YouTube videos which you can sort by various criteria and type in a key term. We'll use French alphabet rap and when we click the search button, YouTube presents us with some options to choose from and we simply click the one we want and select it. Again, when we click Insert Media, we don't yet see the embedded YouTube video until we scroll down and Save and Return to Course and see we don't need to know any code to be able to do this. If you already know the web address of your YouTube video, Here's a second way of doing it. Again, we click Add an activity or resource and add our label. But this time, we're going to go up into our browser address bar and in another tab, copy the URL of the YouTube video we've already found. And then, going back to our label, we simply paste it in and then select it and click the chain icon to make the link. And when we click Create Link, again, nothing happens until we save it and we have embedded our YouTube video simply with its URL. However, if you have several videos, it's better to display them in a page resource where students can click to go to the video rather than having a number of videos directly on your course page.